representation in their government and, uh, and, and a vote in the PNC to reconstitute uh, the uh, elected council for the Palestinian people. Because um, <clears throat> until the people get representation, it's going to be real hard to move the people as a group behind any sort of national agenda. Um, for a long time, we've heard arguments, the Israelis and the Americans saying, well, there's no one to negotiate with. They're fighting each other. There's no one to negotiate with. Okay? Um, this is a time right now where the Palestinian people need to look at the rest of the Arab Spring and they need to act uh, accordingly. They need to take control of their government again. And, uh, and, and, and I 100% support that. But that in no way should change the fact that we should say to the international community, don't recognize Palestine at this time. Please don't recognize Palestine at this time. Because the only people that are saying that are the one-staters who have exclusive visions, a pure Arab state or a pure Jewish state. They're the only people that are against recognition for Palestine's loss. So that's the way I see it. Thank you much. Can I, can I, can I hear the gentleman ask his question, please? I'm, I'm trying to get at your question. Um, so your, your question is? My question for you is, why do you want this UN seat? Oh, uh, well, what are the benefits of a UN seat? What, what are the benefits of a UN seat? What's the UN seat? Okay, his, his question is, uh, why, do I, why do I think it's a good idea to have a UN seat? Um, uh, yeah. yeah, let's 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 take them one at a time here. Okay, what are the benefits of UN recognition? Let's use the right language. UN recognition will give Palestinians specific benefits. Those benefits are number one, you will be able to go to the International Court of Justice with legal issues, international law issues, issues that regarding. Um, a fence being built in your backyard, okay? You'll be able to actually, I mean, Palestinian representatives will actually be able to stand in an equal position with Israel in a court of law. Right now they cannot, okay? So it will give you that ability to take things to the International Court of Justice. Now what happens after you gain a verdict, you're still gonna be subject to the powers of war. What does that mean? If I got the biggest guns, don't matter what legal piece you have, right? Okay? So you're still gonna have to negotiate war away, okay? That's not gonna take the place of negotiating the end of war, okay? But it will give you the ability to take something to the international court so that when you lose a home, when you have a, a claim, you can make claims easier because now you have a state entity. 
So you're standing on equal ground. That's my understanding, at least. That's one of the main benefits. Another main benefit is that you're in, you're in a club now with all the other chief diplomats of the world who are charged with making decisions of world geopolitical importance. Now, what does that mean? That means that suddenly a Palestinian ambassador gets to trade his vote and build coalitions with other international players so that if I go with Africa, they go with me. You got it? So you, you now have the power to build international coalitions. So it gives you more power in an international law standpoint. How will it affect the people's lives on the ground, though? Which is, for me, the closest thing to my heart. Well, it won't affect it immediately. I'm sad to say, it just won't. Not until you find a solution to the war. And this is not a peace treaty in any stretch of the imagination. It is just additional pressure internationally from those people whose closest, who, who feel closer to the Palestinians. That's all it is. It's international pressure. And that's why the US and Israel hate it so much, because it will further isolate them in the international arena. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, unless you have the guns and the bullets to back it up, it's not going to make a difference unto itself. Okay. But it is an added tool in your arsenal to apply pressure. Just as BDS is a tool, just as uh, uh, civil um, uh, 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 assemblies are a tool, it's just another tool in your arsenal. That's all it is. It's not going to end the struggle. Uh, I'll tell you what it will end. What it will end, it'll end Camp David and it'll end Oslo, which were unfair uh, basis to build a, 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 a peace treaty on. Uh, this move will, will put a death nail into those two uh, officially, into those two um, uh, 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 ventures into a peace. We're going to have follow-ups in a minute. Yeah. I mean, but uh, yes. If there's one go more right question ahead. for Jeff, and then go we'll right go ahead. on to the next speaker, and then we'll have full, full-blown discussion after that. Okay, go ahead. Well, I can wait. Okay. okay. Thank you. 
Well, um, I'm just going to comment on this. Um, <clears throat> uh, I think that the PA is a done deal. The, 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 um, the government that is in the occupied territories now is not respected by the people. And nothing the UN, the US, or Israel can do will change that. Just as there's nothing that they can do to take away the rights of people, if they are inalienable rights, they will not go away. So I don't see these as problems. I see them as added benefits and not as an answer to war, but as giving the leadership of the Palestinians which the current political leadership is not yes. representing well their people, but it will give the leadership of the Palestinians a greater foothold in the international community, a greater negotiating power uh, to represent uh, Palestine. No, 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 no. The PLO includes Hamas, it includes all the parties of the people. Amal, Amal, hang, hang on a second, would you please? Okay. The PLO is inclusive of all parties and all people in the society, at least that was its design, okay? Now, yes. is there a corrupt leadership that is not representative? It has it been a lot of years since there was a, an election to the PNC, which is the elected council, the representative, basically the Congress of the Palestinian people? Yes, it's gone way too many years. It's not representative of the people. Their current leadership is corrupt and only in it for their own little uh, business deals and what they can get out of it. This we know. So that's why I say you need to separate the politics from what's the international law questions happening in the UN because they're two different things, okay? Yes, there's a lot of problems with Palestinian politics right now. Palestinian people need a referendum and they need to get control of their government through their, their council, through their, their elected uh, council, uh, somehow. Uh, so. Okay, our next speaker. Amal, if you could save your comment. Amal, please save your comment till after Abbas, okay? Because we, we have to okay. stick on. Thank you, Jeff. This is Abbas Hamida.